Two Navy pilots are hospitalized after ejecting from their F-18 jet shortly before it crashed into an apartment complex in Virginia Beach. The jet was an F-A-18 Hornet, a newer version of the Navy's F-18 aircraft. There are no immediate reports of any injuries on the ground. A Navy SEAL who witnessed the crash tells the Navy Times that the pilots appeared to have ejected at the very last moment to make sure the plane didn't hit a school. Now, an F-A-18 Hornet crashed into Virginia Pe in Virginia Beach into an apartment complex. Two pilots ejected safely. And, of course, you well know that Megyn Kelly was uh, very sad and had a boohoo face today because there were no deaths or injuries in the apartment, so they went to another story. But we're going to stay on this story for a moment because, thank God, nobody was injured. But I looked into this in a way that I think needs to be done. And, of course, I'm not going to blame Obama for this comma directly, period. But I will blame this administration for this crash, and I will tell you why. I have the budget. I did the work that the Congressional Budget Office should be doing today. I did, the, I did a job today that Romney should have done. I did a job with my own producer that the Republican Party ought to be doing, that the Senate Armed Services Committee ought to be doing, but none of them did it. They're busy, busy going to uh, conventions and giving themselves awards. I got the uh, fiscal year 2012 budget for the U.S. Navy, and I uh, had it go back to 2010. And just as I suspected, just as I suspected, the budget was slashed by over $200 million from last year to this year in aircraft maintenance. And it was it's interesting to me because the eyewitnesses at the crash site said that they saw fuel gushing from the aircraft shortly after takeoff. Fuel was gushing out of the plane just before it crashed. So the Navy jet crash is related, in my opinion, to the fact that Obama cut the Navy budget by $200 million for maintenance alone between uh, 2011 and 2012. Now, you have to cut somewhere. As you well know, he's out to destroy the military. So you have to cut somewhere, especially if you want to continue to fly Leon Panetta back and forth ac across the country in the best possibly maintained aircraft. You've got to cut it where the uh, fighter jocks go. And if you want to make sure that Nancy Pelosi and her family continues to enjoy the services of uh, military jets, well, you've got to cut it from those who fight for us. Oh, man. One of the jets from the base just crashed off of Bird Neck Road.